If you're a beginner in Logic Pro and you want to know how to make some fire beats, I got you. I would recommend you changing this view. So we're going to click this arrow, the display mode, and then we're going to come down here to custom. Now we can see way more, and this is going to be very important very soon. Next, we want to set the tempo. We're going to hit the letter K on our keyboard, and this is going to enable our metronome. Let's say we want to make like a somewhat up-tempo type beat around like 97. So what you could do now is hit the letter C on your keyboard and this enables the cycle or the loop range. Now we can set this from measure one to measure five. Now the next thing you wanna do is get familiar with the sound libraries, but I'm actually gonna come up here to all sounds and I'm gonna use the producer kits because these sound really professional. So I'm gonna come down here to track girl and I'm gonna to go to electronic drum kit and then I'm going to pull up hard knocking. So I'm gonna pull up the drum machine designer by clicking this, the DMD. What I'm gonna do now is find what sounds stick out to me. Now we're gonna start a pattern. So now what we can do is hit the letter R on our keyboard to hit record and I'm gonna record this kick drum pattern. Now we're gonna X out of this, and then we're gonna hit this arrow right here. And this is going to show us all of the one shots in this drum kit. So now we're gonna click on this region. We're gonna hit the letter Q to quantize. All right. And this quantized it to a 16th note. All right, now let's add a snare on the two and four. All right, now we can double click this MIDI region. Now what we're gonna do is quantize these snares. So we're gonna highlight all of these. Then we're gonna come over here and quantize it to an eighth note. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another way to program drums by using the step sequencer. Let's check this out. So we already have the kick and snare. We're gonna do some hi-hats. So we'll use this one, hard knocking hat. So what we're gonna do is right click on this so you can do control and click. And we're gonna create a pattern region right here. Now we wanna make sure this pattern region lines up properly. So to start this at measure one, and then we're gonna set these steps to 16 steps. We're gonna leave this set to row step rate to 16. And now we can click this arrow right here and it gives us an automatic hi-hat pattern. So what I want is da -da -da, da -da -da. So I'm gonna take out every last note. So this one here, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take this one out and so on and so forth. And if you guys are getting value out of this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on bell notifications, especially if you're a Logic Pro user. Now that we have this hi-hat pattern, We're gonna move this behind the beat a little bit. Then we can come over here to the channel strip and click down to where it says more. Now we're gonna delay this a couple of ticks. So I'm gonna start with 29 ticks. So by delaying your hi-hats, it gives you a real professional sound out the gate. Now this is according to your taste. If you like it more on top of the beat, that's fine. But I like to delay my hi-hats just a little bit. Let's add some dynamics to this. So we're gonna click over here to velocity value. And this is gonna allow us to have a more dynamic hi-hat. So we could do like 67 and 73, and we can kind of you know, variate these a little bit so they're not all the same. Now we got a crazy groove to build on. Now let's organize the drums. We're gonna convert this to a MIDI region by right-clicking 
And then we're going to come over here to where it says convert to MIDI region. Now we have that as MIDI. Then we're going to take this file. This has the kick and snare all on one MIDI region. We're going to put these on separate regions. We're going to right click on this and then we're going to do separate note by pitch. And now this puts everything on the corresponding one shot. Now we can close the folder up so we have space in our arrangement window. Now let's add a harmonic progression with some melodic presence. So we're going to add a new track by clicking the plus sign. Then we're going to come down here to Alchemy. Now here's where you can browse through this library. It's a lot to choose from. You have a whole lot. So let's start with keys and then let's do layered and Let's do clean. This is a nice patch. This is called Driplet Harp. And what I'm going to do right now is add a progression. And if you need these types of chords on the go, check out my Vibes MIDI pack below. All right, next we're gonna add some bass. Now, since we already used a Alchemy instrument, we can just click this right here, this duplicate track, or you can do Command and D. Then we're gonna come over here to Bass, Sub, and then we're going to do, change this back to All, and then we're gonna go to 808 Mutation Bass. Now we're gonna add this bass. Now I'm going to give you guys an advanced tip for beginners. Let's get into it. We're going to make this 808 cut. So we're going to come over here to audio effects. Then we're going to come down here to distortion. And then we're going to come over here to distortion. And now we can customize how hard we want this 808 to knock. See there? Now you can make this cut even more by turning this up the tone up and the drive up. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip. We're gonna go back to the drums, click up here, and then we're gonna come over here to the hi-hats, and then we're gonna add some in-between hi-hat row. We're gonna change this grid value, so I told you why this is important. So we're gonna come up here to where it says division, and we're gonna change this to a 30-second note division. You see you have more block choices. So what we're gonna do now is click on this one, and we're gonna trim this back, and then hit Option on our keyboard while we're still holding. And then we're gonna drag this over to the right. And then we're gonna fill in all of these additional boxes. And that sounds like this. So now let's listen to that phrase so far. See there? Now I'm gonna give you guys another pro bonus tip. To make this interesting, I am going to hit the letter A in the piano roll. So make sure you're clicking in here, hit the letter A. And now you see we have these velocity points. And so now we're going to crescendo into the next beat. So I'm gonna start by clicking all the way down here, stretching across and releasing at the next note. See there? Now we're going to attempt to make a melody. Now, if you're just a beginner, if you don't play keys, don't worry about it. My Vibes MIDI pack will help you out a lot in this department. Let's make a little melody. We're gonna go into the retro synth library. And this patch that I landed on is called Electricity Lead. Now here's where we're gonna add some miscellaneous and or auxiliary. So what I'm gonna do now is find something arpeggiated and I wanna have something that sounds on the vocal side of arpeggiated and let's see what crystals and voices sounds like.
Okay, so now we're gonna turn this down. And then we're gonna put some space designer directly on this. Let's increase the size to about 150. Yeah, that's nice. Now we're gonna do a short arrangement for this video because I want you guys to get the concept and once you get it, you can run with it. Let's do a short arrangement. I would recommend just copying the course a couple of times just for beginners. So what we're gonna do is hit Command A to highlight everything. Then we're gonna do Command R to repeat everything. And let's repeat this three times so we have a total of four. So what I recommend you do is start off with some type of intro. So we're going to mute this region of drums by hitting the letter M. And you can change this in your settings. You can go to Logic Pro, Key Commands, Edit Assignments. Uh, we're going to type in the search mute. And so here it is right here, main window tracks and various editors, mute notes, region cells, folders on and off. I changed it to the letter M. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Second time, maybe add the drums. Now we're gonna set this up. We're gonna come over here and we're going to chop this up. So we're gonna use our marquee tool for the first time. And we can set up our marquee tool right over here. And you can see where it's set to marquee tool. Then what we're gonna do is hit command on our keyboard and hold it. And you see we get this plus sign. We're going to click and drag over to the right to the end of that region. And we're gonna hit the letter M to mute just that piece. And that sounds like this. Everything comes in now. All right, now let's listen to that all the way through. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Came out pretty smooth right now. If you want to go to the next level and making a pro beat, check out these videos right over here.